stop any intrusion of communism, Marxism, socialism. Stop it! We're expecting God to forgive the sin of the church, which is apathy and complacency and likeness. Do nothing. Why, this whole city should be out here this afternoon. Every preacher ought to be out here this afternoon. And every time I stick my neck into something and stick my nose into something, preachers call me and they say, Brother Craig, we're behind you 100%. And I used to say, how far behind me? Amen. <laughs> and then they say, we can't risk our church. We can't risk the dynamics of our church. We'll get run out of town. I'll say, you low line, compromising, mealy mouth, yellow belly, nothing. They ought to run you off the day, say me. I tell our people this, study the Constitution. Let it be preached from the pulpit, proclaimed in the legislatures, and enforced in the courts of justice. You know, most of our children go to public school. Many children go to public school, they know nothing about the Constitution of the United States, for which our fathers, our forefathers, not only gave up everything they had, but laid down their own lives and shed their own blood for the liberties we have here today. This is not a play party. This is a tea party. But I want to say something today. As America stands today, this nation is not going to be saved in the White House. It's going to be saved in the church house. It's not going to be saved by politicians. Even though we need some good politicians who are constitutionalists and conservative and Christian. Amen. And I'd vote for, for the garbage to, uh, truck driver. I'd vote for the dog catcher. Amen. If he tell me, I love God. They want to demonize us. They want to demonize us. But they're the demons. Anybody that stands against what this nation has stood for for all these years is full of demons. There's not but two powers in the world. Remember, God and the devil. And the devil's defeated. He's taking everything he can take right now because he got elected. As we attend this tea party, help us to get on our knee party knees and pray. Help us to dedicate ourselves, Lord, personally. To stand... We're in a war, Lord. We must prepare to live, die, sink, or swim. And oh God, we pray you'll turn back your judgment, your wrath, your anger. Especially on those who call are called by your name, Lord, for our apathy. For our willingness to let things continue to go on. And for our unwillingness, oh Lord, we repent. Our unwillingness to stand up unashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. But help us to see the real change that needs to come to America. We need to return to what our forefathers left us, what they gave their lifeblood, their fortunes, their families for, fighting for the liberties that we hold dear to our heart this day. 